So um, my son wants to make a mousetrap car. So we've got a few bits and pieces. We've got a quick design. We made one once in high school. So uh, there's a few different methods, but most of the, he's gonna be making this, probably following this video. So today he's gonna to do more safety than normal. So the mousetrap can bite you. So make sure never leave it set. You know, you touch that, the trigger, it'll go. So make sure it's not set but there is a danger with that because it has stored kinetic energy when it's back and then it releases it which is what we're going to be using to help us power the the axle with a lever so we'll end up having a stick and a lever to help us harness that kinetic energy and we also have a hot glue gun you can also use um, aquadir or any other sort of high standard glue if you're going to be doing this over a period of time but you want something quick the hot glue gun is the best but it is hot and you can burn yourself if you're not careful we also have scissors and they are sharp so please be careful and do this with an adult supervision or or with your your friends and your adults all together it's a bit of a project so we've got some cds here for wheels we also have some just leads that you get off an orange juice or your milk containers I wouldn't go too much smaller than that we've got some pre cutouts for hubs which squares would be the best for the CDs as they will cover that and then you can just hot glue them in position and they'll be there otherwise the circles you know they look a bit better but you will need a little bit more effort cutting them out so now we'll just get into the build and also you can use these uh, wooden garden sticks they're pretty cheap or some skewers um, skewers are a little bit uh, thinner they'll be lighter and it will make a difference in the long run mm -hmm. how heavy your build is just have to watch out because it does have a point on the yep. end and, and sometimes when you push through you can easily go straight into your finger so please be cautious. Our cardboard is quite thick. Your cardboard may be thinner. You, if it is thinner than ours, you will have to double it up. Otherwise, it will just bend. So yeah, ours has its mm -hmm. jewel. And we also have two sticks which you can use as rulers, two school rulers, wooden rulers. That'll do the same job. We just have these because we didn't have two rulers. Mm -hmm. We do have uh, some cardboard cutouts which we're going to glue together, uh, which will act as the same as a ruler. As a ruler, yes. So yeah. you've got the multiple options because this will be lighter again than the wood, so it'd be good to have comparisons. Okay. Now, where did we put those scissors over there? We've got our mouse trap. And please inspect your mouse traps prior because we have found some that are a little faulty. And sometimes this section here can be out there. So just inspect them prior to setting them and just make sure it's all hooked in. Otherwise you could have a misfortune. And now we also check where we're going to do our axle. So if we're going to put our axle here. We want our lever to reach that distance when it is pulled back so no longer than the axle just grab our side cutters and that's done you can use a little hacksaw but the side cutters work best We will be attaching this to the side of our trap. This I would advise getting some assistance with. We're going to use cable ties and hot glue. Make sure you keep the strap on the inside and the locking mechanism on the outside. Otherwise you're going to have trouble. Okay, one and two should do it, and then the glue will hold it in place just in case. Yeah, 
you don't have any of that, you can use some tape. Some masking tape might hold it temporarily. Yeah, especially if you're gonna hot glue gun it anyway. Mm. Make sure it is tight, so get one of the adults to heave ho it and cut the ends off. Just make sure it does work as it is supposed to and is not hindered by anything. So that's quite good. We can give it a quick hit with the hot glue gun. Keep these in position because they may slide up and down. As long as it moves freely, you'll be fine. Otherwise, you will not have enough kinetic energy to win and beat your friends. So placing, make sure when you place it, you haven't cut this too short. Otherwise you're gonna have trouble. And with the lever, we will have to just do a quick outline where that will go as you will not be able to have a straw housing all the way along as you need to wind the actual string to the axle. We've marked out our spot for where the cutout has got to be. And so now we just cut it out. We can cut it out now. Yep, won't matter much. It's probably easier to do it beforehand. Yeah. Less ob obstruction. Yep. Okay. Now we have the trap. We'll just check the position. Always cut what we need out. Okay. Because yeah, the stick, the stick end here, has to sit right above the axle. Yep. So where, where the string is. That also adds rigidity to the cardboard through the through the center there as well. So we have that. And we'll get a, some straws and we will just make our actual housing for the axle. So might get away with it. So we're going to glue ours on, but if you don't have some glue, you can try a few layers of masking tape. But be careful because it is Very easy to hot. get it on your hands. Yeah, hot and, and stringy. It's hot. Just make sure it's all in line and you put the last piece on otherwise your axle won't spin freely and you may have issues. Just hold it for a few seconds for it to dry. And then the same pretty much for your um, front end.
Now you can have different colored straws, all the same straws, doesn't really matter. This is what we had at the time. Stick in the center helps you push it down without getting burnt. You can also take this down. It's also sitting up a bit there. Is it? Yeah. The stick could be bent, but won't help. Okay. So now you have pretty much the basic setup ready for your axles mm -hmm. and your string. These axles could also be glued underneath. underneath. Yes, they could. You can taping them underneath. This will probably be stronger if you only had tape. Now we have our CDs for our wheels. You have the option of your CDs or your bottle lids. If you use your bottle lids, you will need a center punch to, uh, sorry, a, um, a hole puncher to make a hole through the middle as we did on all these. Mm -hmm. These oh, are a little, this tool all also this thing, yep, is a center punch. Felt punch. So for your squares, just um, actually these are pretty much the same size. So if you have some cardboard, put your circle on there, a little mark on that side, and a little mark on that side. And grab your ruler. measure your head it's four so we'll just come in at four just cut out your squares and just use the same one To make the rest of them where you build. We need four because we're using all um, the CDs. Okay, so now we have our centers and we'll puncture that through with a skewer and then go through with the gardening stick. We'll just glue that on as well. The closer you are to the center, the more rigid it will be. That's one. Here's some we done earlier. These were the ones with the rounded circle hub but um, we used a um, hole saw for a tile it gives you that finish you probably won't have that uh, yeah, Dennis did cut some up that we oh, yeah, by hand by hand that we mark up from the that can that can be done anything that's more than just a square, increases the time of the build. Okay, so those are the four wheels done. Now what we need to do is make a hole for the axle to go through. And be careful when using the skewer and make sure you have something underneath as if you hit into a hard surface straight off, you'll need a few skewers. So just look for the circle, center of the circle, sorry. 
Go all the way through, watch your fingers. And then, then do that for all of them. You can also measure that out and hit the circle in the middle. Okay, so those are through. Those are done. And now we've just got to cut our axles. Two ways of cutting your axle. Yes, you can we use your little a set of side cutters. Which is bang, easy done. We've got the hacksaw. Watch your there. eyes. Yes, as it does shoot off. Or we have a little oh, hacksaw here. That's right. So we've got our cutouts, so we'll just push that through. Okay. And then we'll hot glue that on. Just give it a little more stability. And push it back a bit so it actually goes into the build. Make sure you put it on before you put the other wheel on, otherwise you're going to have problems. And just grab yourself another piece of the actual shaft that you're using for the axle. One other thing we forgot to mention is um, we pre-measured it prior, but if you're going to use CDs, make sure you don't make it too small and your wheels hit each other. One thing we forgot to mention, we pre-measured that prior. And where do my other axle go? Here it is here. Okay, so then your wheels are on. Mm -hmm. You want to try and one's make a little sure bit they're not straight, not in wobbling. like that one. And then now we work out our string lengths for our axle spin and the kinetic release of energy from the spring. And our axle will have to be cut down a little bit. It is a little bit longer, but we'll just tie the string in line with the axle and we should be fine. Mm -hmm. This is the hard part because my fingers aren't very good at tying small knots. And I'm 
glue that down with the hot glue gun. That was the position it should be in. Mm -hmm. Just to prevent that from unraveling, I'll just leave that a few moments to dry. This is quite some heavy duty string, so. So the string. It's got to be fully pulled out of the axle, so we don't want it too long. Yep, otherwise it'll stop it and yep. go backwards. Yep. We'll cut it at about here. I reckon that'll fling out. I reckon maybe a couple of centimetres shorter than that. We can always cut it. Do a test run. Yeah. And make sure you wind it in reverse. So when it comes back, it goes the way it's supposed to. My fingers just can't get it. still be able to use the safety. I wouldn't rely on it, but you should still be able to use it. Okay, so it is primed and ready. Now time for a test run. And we'll give it a go. The birds, it started to rain. The wind blew this thing flying, toppled it over. So we've had to come inside, try it in the hallway. It's actually easier to do it up with two people. Someone taking the the force. Okay. This bit. Pick up a bit. I got this bit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is our our path. Uh, Pop him here, so he's starting hundreds. at 3, 2, 1, ready? Build. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, no! <laughs> exactly 8 metres. Okay. 